Hello everyone, my name is Bridget and today we're going to be talking about how to visit the ancestral plane, how to journey there and understanding what it is so that we can connect with our ancestors to receive immense support, healing and wholeness for ourselves and for our lineages. It's wonderful. So this has been most incredibly depicted uh, and the term came really from the Black Panther movies. And the Black Panther movies hold a very healed transmission of the intact African lineage. Very powerful. You can feel it if you watch them. They also hold some of the wounds as, as well and how to heal those. It's, it's an incredible uh, teaching journey through film, which is incredible that it's coming from a Marvel movie, but it's true and it's happening. So I'm going to also be sharing as we get towards the end of the video, I highly recommend sticking around some of what this overflow of intact culture can do to impact all cultures uh, and heal us no matter where we come from and what we can learn from this journey to the ancestral plane. So the ancestral plane is one term for what has been around and utilized by all all indigenous cultures for millennia, uh, which is this experience of journeying, of connecting, of communing with the spirit world in various ways. Uh, this is most commonly known through shamanism, through the different worlds, through the lower world, the middle world, the upper world is what it's called in shamanism. And there's many different ways to journey to the ancestral plane or to these different realms and sometimes they are connected to the astral realm so there's lots of different ways in the movie they take the heart-shaped herb some level of psychoactive uh, substance to be able to journey there and that has been done by many cultures around the world for a long time and one of the most traditional ways uh, that doesn't involve substance that's also used is drumming is certain rhythms of drumming to induce a trance state to journey into the other world so that our minds become clear and we can expand more into our spirit self to, to merge and to connect and to journey to the realm of wherever our intention leads us. In this case, we're talking about the ancestral plane. This journeying can lead you lots of different places and with the journeying to the ancestral plane in the shamanism direction, uh, when you're journeying to the lower world or the upper world, that's often when you meet the ancestors. There's lots of different things you can meet, all different places, uh, but those are the places where the ancestors most uh, commonly appear. So in the movies, T'Challa goes to the very vibrant, colorful ancestral plane, which we say is more of the upper world in shamanism, where Killmonger goes to the lower world, where those of the unhealed ancestors or those things that are stuck or wounded stay stagnant. And so we can navigate to all different kinds of them depending on what is needed in our own lineages. And then the, the clarity and cleanliness of that connection of our lines to navigate to make contact. Now, if this is sounding interesting and you want to go make contact right now, uh, you can click the link down in the description to get a free journey meditation that I take you on, or you can go to connectwithmyancestors.com to get that free meditation and go on this journey with the ancestors and begin making contact. So now let's keep going because there's so much more to this. So there's lots of different ways of, of doing this. And again, like I said, primarily we're doing the journey and through drumming or through some psychoactive substance. Uh, but there's lots of other ways, including even just dreaming and going into your dream time with a really clear intention of making contact. And you can journey to the astral realm, the ancestral plane through dreaming. Um, there's lots of different ways that were set up around the earth that was remembered through time on the land that held the ability to communicate and hear our ancestors, which were called song lines. And so I'll go deeper into that in other videos, but just to know there's lots of ways to, to make contact and to journey to that plane. But those are some of the most 
um, common uh, ways for indigenous and we are all originally indigenous so there's ways that we can all tap into that stream and really begin to make contact now i'm gonna let you in on a little secret that very little is needed to make contact it is our natural state to be in somewhat constant dialogue or communication or communion uh, with the spirit world of course and with our ancestors that's how it was it was commonplace uh, but in the way that it wasn't just uh, mundane but there was always this vibrant aliveness and interaction and support that was coming from behind us and invigorated a vibrant aliveness in our dna and in our inspiration and in our in our strength of who we are as individuals and as a family and as a people's that was constantly moving and, and charged. And a lot of this has been broken. A lot of this has been forgotten. And so that's why we are re-entering this. And that's probably why you're watching this is to reconnect those connections. So those lines of communication are alive. Now, one of the key ways to create that aliveness is through your pure intention, is through a true volition to commune and to heal. Because often there's a lot that needs to be healed and there's a lot of strength that is a lot to take in of your own power too, which can be a bit scary as well. So a lot of people in the spiritual world and, and me at different times too, it's like, oh, it's a bit easier to just go connect with some angels. It's going to be a lot lighter. And the ancestors, especially in shamanism, I learned from Michael Harner uh, before he passed in my early 20s, which was just a real treat to be in his presence. He is one of the great stewards that brought brought together all the information around um, shamanism from all these different places on the planet. Really amazing. But one of the things that, that he says and that's said in that world is that the ancestors will tell you like what's going on. I mean, it's real, it's real truth medicine. And so sometimes that can be a bit challenging or confronting. And so it requires a lot of courage uh, and strength to even go into it because a lot will come through. Um, but commanding that intention to say yes and to go for it uh, is your greatest access point because there's something that happens in your field where then that ripples out and it is heard. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't feel like anyone's hearing you or things are heard, but they are. One of the keys to understand is that this call can be heard by those that aren't even your blood lineage. That's how powerful sending out this call is. And what happens from the, the deepest, most intact layers of the ancestral realm, uh, where these, these cultures, these colors, these races from all around the world are still very much vibrantly alive and intact beyond the trauma, beyond the pain, beyond the injustice. They live in pure rhythm and harmony with their purpose in the spirit world. And so when the, the call is heard of your pure intention, that ripples out through the world, through the realms, through the universe. And any culture uh, that has that extra overflow of, of, of treasure, of fullness, will bestow that upon you. And this has happened to me quite a few times. And this has happened to me in Hawaii um, with, with those ancestors. And this happened to me um, connected to Black Panther and this African lineage. Um, and why did it happen to me? Because of that pure volition and my dedication to heal. After our own ancestral lines, have wounding and we can't access uh like killmonger or like some of in some of the lower realms of the ancestral plane it's like you can't access that that real support and that real transmission and so these other lineages of the ancestral plane that have that still intact can act as conduits to help you in retrieving your own strong connection and that and that pure aliveness of your own cultural lineage. And this is this is blowing my mind that this is how it works and like how I've been experiencing it. And so when the Black Panther ancestors came to me, I'm gonna call them, uh, it was a 
full psychedelic experience that was happening during my dream time, unlike almost anything I'd have experienced, and it happened after I watched the second movie. I was in it. It was very clear that I was in that ancestral plane. And what happened after I was wave after wave washed over with with that particular lineage is I was shown my own ancestral plane, one of them, because we have lots of different ancestors. We got lots of different um, streams of lineage to connect in into, but they showed me one and they showed me my Native American ancestor and they showed him in his uh, indigenous location, like up in up in Utah. And he was alone. And then it showed my dad and my brother. And there was this this theme of aloneness because of things that had happened. And they showed me this and they said, go look at this. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I will. This was intense. I'll definitely heed the call and go look at this. And so I did. And the next couple of days, I did a lot of research um, and discovered very horrific things about uh, what had happened in the area and what had happened um, between my Mormon pioneer ancestors and the Native Americans uh, to the degree that it rippled out even before I had told my family and and sent some shockwaves that fundamentally changed um, my family and started to really catalyze healing in our lines because of what had come through. And so this is what kind of they facilitated for for me because the the strength of that line wasn't available to make contact themselves. So they they were using um, themselves as an intermediary to assist. And in the past few days, I had been feeling them coming back around and sharing uh, that I need to share this. And that I need to share this within even the the search context of Black Panther um, so that this can be understood. And so that there can be, again, trigger warning, <laughs> um, a realization that from the higher realms, we are all one humanity. And that by each other on these higher planes, assisting each other's healing Uh, we can heal ourselves and they can heal their own lines. And it's really beautiful and it's very powerful. And so I hope that you can feel that and, and, and sync with that energy. And, um, this, I don't like sharing my personal experiences as much because there's something for me. And I also don't want them to be like, me pimping my spiritual experiences, but this is something that happened almost a year ago now, and it led to a cascade of events uh, in my family that has created massive healing, and it's more so integrated at this point, so it feels like time to share, and I feel like there's a real message of hope and restoration and understanding how to work with this, these higher realities and how much there's a desire for wholeness and healing uh, in the spirit world. And granted, yes, there are very pissed a- ancestors and really wounded ancestors, and we're carrying on a lot, a lot of the baggage for them. And there's a lot of healing that's necessary. And there's this overriding uh, potent wholeness that is also available for you too. So those are some of the pieces that I wanted to share and to also share that through the treasures of each of these different lineages, even if they're not your own blood genetic lineage, um, their keys help us help each other unlock our own gifts. And to me, that is absolutely profound. So just know that as you go into uh, some level of journey or some level of intentionality to connect, uh, that things that you wouldn't expect to appear might appear to be to be guides along your path and that some of the things that might seem strange will end up making sense as things unfold because that's part of the way that the spirit world communicates is in these different you know archetypes and and ways that have an intelligence to them 
to be able to restore and heal, even if we don't understand with our conscious mind. So there's a lot to it, and I hope that this was a a nice introduction to the ancestral plane and understanding it even more and understanding the, uh, the deeper support that is accessible to us no matter what has happened to our families or cultures and that we're all in this as, as one humanity uh, moving towards healing one step at a time. Now, the ancestral healing process and the ancestral connection process, it's a journey. I've legitimately been on this journey for over 15 years, pretty dedicated um, because there's so much that to explore in it and there's different layers and there's parts that are really tough and there's parts that are ecstatically beautiful. So I highly recommend taking your time with it, being gentle, being open to it. Absolutely. Uh, if you have that volition, um, to explore and to heal. And I have my ancestral healing course. If you want to go deeper, I help you navigate the whole the whole gamut of everything um, to create more wholeness in yourself and your family and your line um, and to really receive that immense support that is so available for us uh, that really translates into our, our physical body and physical life in ways that some of the other spirit, spiritual realms don't. Um, that really fortify our experience in the everyday. So if you want to check that out, it's down at the bottom and you can click the link and go get that. I'm going to be doing live Q&A guidance starting in October. So now's a great time to get started so that you're ready for that uh, because this is important work. So I show up for it um, every year to make sure that you're guided through the process. So I really appreciate you being here. I definitely recommend going on some level of journey to connect with your intention. And again, I have the free meditation below and you can just go to connectwithmyancestors.com to check that out. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing more content on this. I also have a full playlist of lots of different videos I've done on this topic so you can go deeper into it and understand and explore it more. And be sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and comment below of what was insightful or helpful for you in this video, how you're feeling the call to move forward, and if there's anything else that you would like me to touch on because this is a deep and vast subject and I'm here to help. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.